There are applications, for example in medical and automotive business, where not only the boards have a circular outline, also placement and routing has to be done in a circular fashion. Polar Grid Utilities is a flowware toolkit dedicated to this kind of application. Besides the capability to define Polar Grid, it offers additional functions such as polar placement, polar routing and polar shapes, including voids. Of course, the generated grid can also be used in conjunction with standard PCB editor snapping commands. Let's start with the grid definition. We launched the application Flowware, Edit, Polar Grid, Setup Grid. The picture on the right-hand side gives information about available parameters. We can click for an origin or enter the values manually. Once the origin has been specified, a preview appears. Any parameter change now will be reflected dynamically. Once we have specified a name of the symbol, we choose Apply to commit. It's also possible to edit an existing symbol. For this, we simply choose Pick Symbol and select an existing grid definition. The parameters are extracted and can be changed now. Basically, we distinguish between a coarse and a fine grid, each of which can be displayed by lines or dots. Predefined views allow you to switch on and off certain grid items. Polar placement can be driven in three different modes. The use model is completely interactive. In all cases, a component needs to be selected first, while differences only apply to spin and alignment operations. In place mode, the component will be placed at destination location without further action. Three alignment options apply. Radial long side, radial short side, retain relative. In these modes, the relative orientation with respect to radial axis will be retained. In place and spin mode, the component will be placed at destination location first, then user is asked to specify rotation through cursor dynamics. Three options are available, while absolute and incremental are identical to standard spinning operations. Polar lock mode locks to 90 degree increments relative to the angle of the current radial axis. In spin only mode, the selected component will be rotated at the current position through cursor dynamics only. Alignment options are identical to place and spin mode. Snapping to coarse and fine and system grid can be controlled individually as well as the display of the individual grid items. Let's continue with polar routing. Basically, there is no difference between routing lines on edge and non-edge layers. You simply specify the corresponding layer in the Options panel. However, in case of edge layers, there is an option Snap to Connect Point, which is useful if you want to start routing from a pin, wire or C-line. Basically, there are two routing styles. Regular, line locking is more or less identical to standard routing command with 45, 90 degree or off-angle routing, and Follow Polar Contour. The traces will follow the radial and angular lines of the polar grid. We distinguish between three different transitions. Angular transition, where the radius is constant. Radial transition, where the angle is constant. Diagonal transition, where angle and radius are different. Let's start with an angular transition. Options are small arc, big arc and straight line. For a radial transition, options are straight line, arc clockwise, arc counterclockwise and arc smart. This option is useful when the current radial transition is following on an angular transition. The direction, clockwise versus counterclockwise, is determined in such way that always a smooth junction will be created. Diagonal transition. Besides straight lines, additional options radial first and angular first are available.
At any time you can use the context menu to toggle between the various path style without oops and option changes. Last but not least, we want to create shapes and voids on a polar grid basis. In terms of layer, net name, shape type, etc., the process of creating shape is more or less identical to standard PCB editor shape command. However, when drawing the outline of the shape, various path styles and snapping options can be chosen similar to the polar route command. The pen width parameter is just for orientation purposes while drawing the outline of the shape. In a similar way, we can create a void for an existing shape. 